In this guide, you learn how to download and set up Bamboo Studio for the first time. Let's get started. Choose the correct version for your operating system, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. For this video, the Windows version is used. Click on it to download and install Bamboo Studio. If you want, you can log in or register for better integration with your printer and Maker World. It's their platform for 3D models you can upload or print. Then click on the Prepare tab. Here you can select your printer or add other printers. You see one printer is selected here, but you can choose many others. Click on Confirm to apply. Below the printer selection, you can choose a print plate type. The default plate is good for most casual prints. Then you select a range of quick print quality settings. The standard profile is good to start with. You can change this later if necessary. When disabling the advanced settings, you have less options to choose from. Turn it on to see that the speed tab will appear. When you are ready, drag an STL file into the slicer. You see a preview of how the model will look like after printing. To change its orientation, click this button and select the face that should be on the print bed. Click another face to change this. When that's done, check your settings and click the Preview tab. All model layers will be loaded. And you see what the estimated printing time is. By dragging this slider, you can inspect each layer. And here you can do this for actions inside one layer. When everything is good to go, click on this arrow and select Export Plate Sliced File. Then click the green button to save your G-code file to a micro SD card. Sometimes your settings need to change. Change them by selecting another preset. Then click on this small preview to recalculate the model. You see the printing time decreased because of changing the settings from standard to draft. When you want to save the model inside Bamboo Studio, Click on File and select Save Project As. The next time you open this project, the model and its settings will be loaded in Bamboo Studio automatically. Please subscribe if you like it, thanks. Please note that for this video, no filament settings were changed. The example in this video was done with a generic PLA profile. You might also want to check out my 3D design channel for more tutorials.